So a fun piece of equipment to talk about is the clarinet barrel. You know, when I was first playing the clarinet, I just thought the barrel was just a thing that connected the mouthpiece to the rest of it, and I didn't give it much thought, other than that I pulled the barrel for tuning occasionally. I didn't think it had much difference in tone quality, but I'm amazed to discover it has a big difference on tone quality. And if you have a student who's more serious and wants to upgrade their sound, a good barrel can make a huge difference. Now, I found the supplies in a couple different ways. If I have an advanced student, Certainly putting on a professional model barrel. This is a Bakun Moba out of Coca-Bola wood, which is this beautiful kind of reddish brown wood. It will give the student much more flexibility in tone color. I find with this barrel, I can play with a very dark, rich sound if I'm doing a nice Brahms sonata. And I can also play with a nice lighter sound if I'm doing a Mozart symphony or something. So it has a real flexibility of range that I love. And I'm surprised at how much it did affect the sound. Now the other thing that a good barrel is really handy on as far as tone production goes, if you have a student who has a lower end clarinet and maybe just doesn't have the budget to upgrade to a full more intermediate or professional instrument, I find putting on a professional barrel and the professional bell is a huge upgrade to the clarinet. I've had students on a good plastic student model clarinet who put on a wooden barrel and you could go full out for a high end like this or even the new traditional barrels. It completely warms up the sound and to most ears it will not sound like a plastic instrument anymore and that's a really nice way for a student to upgrade their tone if they're a little bit on a budget and not quite ready for the wooden instruments. You can see we can use it in different steps either to upgrade a beginning student to sound more like an intermediate one or for a more advanced student to have some really nice options in tone color that a professional barrel will give them. The other big thing a barrel affects is intonation. Most clarinets come with a standard length of barrel. It's going to be 65 or 66 millimeters. Really doesn't matter what it is. But if you have a student who's perpetually sharp, for example, which a lot of students are, and the mouthpiece they're using might have an influence on that, usually they'll pull their barrel out to tune their instrument. And that works to a point. When we pull the barrel out, it does affect the notes on the upper joint more than the lower joint. So it's not quite proportional tuning. A longer barrel will be designed with that in mind, so it brings the whole instrument more in tune, and that's really nice to have. So if you have a student who's regularly pulling more than a millimeter, they should have a barrel that's at least a millimeter longer. Now we want a little bit of flux. It, clarinets are actually designed to play a little bit sharp so that if you're in a really cold room, which makes the instrument play flatter, your pitch can come down and you're still in tune. So it's okay to pull a little bit, but if you're pulling more than a millimeter, then that's a time to use a longer barrel. Um, it's one thing I like about the Bakun barrels. I happen to play on a very long barrel. I play on 68 millimeters, which just works for my setup and my mouthpiece, and it's perfect to have this. And, the stock barrel that came with my older model instrument, I had to pull it a lot, and that made some tuning challenges. So they look nice, but they also can really upgrade tone and intonation. And it's useful for you as a teacher to know about this so you can make knowledgeable recommendations to your own students.